Hello everyone, it's me, Jacob. Finally back from my metaphorical trip to the store to buy a pack of cigarettes. How you doing, champ? Oh, sorry, can't stay long. I'm only here briefly to once again unpack the latest installment in the ongoing psychological thriller series known as Pope Francis Saves the Queers. That's right! Latino daddy and gay icon Pope Francis has once again deigned to gift all queerdom with yet another compassionate affirmation of our wicked, wicked souls. Rejoice, for he has spoken. As you may or may not know, or care. I've made no less than two videos on this channel dedicated to explaining why the widespread perception of Pope Francis as pro-gay and not extremely homophobic is, to use a popular buzzword du jour, problematic. To start off with, let me give you an ultra quick rundown on what the hell I'm talking about. Starting all the way back in 2013, Pope Francis made a number of statements on the subject of homosexuality that were widely interpreted as being welcoming, benevolent, and loving towards the LGBT community. In apparent contrast to the Catholic Church's more traditional approach of unhinged anti-gay bigotry and thinly veiled hatred. This prompted a surge in positive press for Pope Francis in the form of online love letters and digital sycophancy. To the extent that some people began to just assume that the Pope supported things like gay marriage, which he doesn't. This sweaty, frothing orgy of praise for Pope Francis eventually climaxed in December of 2013, when, based on these statements, The Advocate, the world's oldest gay publication, named Pope Francis as their Person of the Year. Yeah, that's where I come in. In my videos, I attempted to explain why these ostensibly kind-hearted words were really little more than well-presented iterations of classic homophobic lines such as Love the sinner, hate the sin, and How can I be homophobic if I'm being polite? I also pointed out numerous instances of the Pope being extremely homophobic both before and after he was made Pope. Examples include encouraging members of the clergy to speak out against gay rights, excommunicating members of the clergy who actually did support gay rights, telling bishops not to accept gay men into the priesthood, saying that adoption by same-sex couples constitutes discrimination against children, and suggesting that the legalization of equal marriage in his native Argentina was initiated by Satan. Well, hang on, that's unfair. He didn't technically say Satan. No, no, no. What he said was that the legalization of gay marriage in Argentina was a move by the father of lies, aka Satan. He also explicitly endorsed the extremely anti-gay catechism on homosexuality, which states that homosexual acts are intrinsically disordered, against the natural law, and are acts of grave depravity. It further claims that sexual relations between two people of the same sex do not proceed from a genuine, affective, and sexual complementarity, go fuck yourself by the way, and that under no circumstances can they be approved. So yeah, not a great resume, but surprise surprise, Pope Francis has extended yet another olive branch to the wretched gaze of the world. And this time, he really means it, you guys. At one point in the new documentary film entitled simply Francesco, released a few days ago on the 21st of October, Pope Francis says the following. Homosexual people have the right to be in a family. They are children of God and have a right to a family. Nobody should be thrown out or be made miserable over it. What we have to create is a civil union law. That way they are legally covered. I stood up for that. Wow. Stirring stuff. Jokes aside, allow me to remove my veil of sarcasm for a moment to talk about what actually is good about this. While in my last two videos I explained why the Pope's widely praised support for the LGBT community essentially amounted to fuck all, because it does, this is indeed the first time that a Pope has endorsed any kind of legal rights for same-sex couples. That's not nothing, and there will be gay Catholics and gay-friendly Catholics out there for whom this really is a big deal. Of course, it is possible to overreact in situations like this, and predictably, the world did not disappoint. Sure enough, the news of the Pope's fresh homophilia was met with its usual outpouring of servile adoration. We see him draped in rainbows, presiding over same-sex marriages, and displaying the dedicated allyship we've all come to know and love. Now, there has already been some mild controversy surrounding these statements. There was some disagreement and confusion over where exactly these quotes came from, and what exactly the Pope meant. Because of course, he doesn't actually speak English, or at least not very well, and his statement has been translated from Spanish. The specific words that the English-speaking media is translating to civil union are ley de convivencia civil, which translates more literally to law of civil cohabitation. Indeed, the very next day, the Archbishop of San Francisco, Salvatore Cordelioni, stated that he'd actually spoken to the Pope about this very issue, and claimed that what the Pope is advocating can in no way be equated to marriage. Cordelioni even suggested that there's no reason why such rights could not be extended to siblings 
siblings who live together and support each other. Not really civil unions then. Can you imagine telling someone that you and your partner got a civil union and they turn to you and say, oh yeah, me and my sister did the same thing. Oh, cool. Now, this is somewhat speculative given that it's not coming directly from Pope Francis and of course, I want to be fair to the Pope and not put words in his mouth. So let's go back and have another look at his recent statement and see if we can figure out what this whole mess is about. Homosexual people have a right to be in a family. They are children of God and have a right to a family. Nobody should be thrown out or be made miserable over it. What we have to create is a civil union law. That way they are legally covered. I stood up for that. Okay? Sounds good, right? The thing is, when you actually take a second to evaluate exactly what Pope Francis is saying in this statement, especially when considered alongside everything else he said about homosexuality, the whole thing starts to unravel somewhat. He says that gay people have a right to be in a family, but which family? Given the mention of being thrown out, we can assume that he's talking about the families that gay people are born into. It doesn't really make sense for him to be talking about the families that gay people create for themselves, given that he's repeatedly spoken out against adoption rights for same-sex couples, and has referred to such privileges as discrimination against children. And what exactly does he mean when he says legally covered? As I just pointed out, clearly his idea of rights for gay couples wouldn't include adoption, so what other fundamental civil rights can we expect to be left out of these hypothetical unions for gays? and maybe siblings. We're talking about bare minimum civil rights here. It's basically one step up from no rights whatsoever. It's also fascinating to hear him say that nobody should be made miserable for being gay, considering all the hardship and suffering that the Catholic Church has inflicted upon gay people throughout the centuries, as well as his own history of homophobia. It's also worth pointing out that in the very same interview, the Pope remarked that his statements do not mean approving of homosexual acts, not in the least. For some reason, this part of the interview was not included in the documentary. Presumably because it fundamentally undercuts the idea that the Pope isn't extremely homophobic. Funny that. So, once again, the Pope's supposedly progressive outlook towards pufters turns out to be far less liberal than popularly reported. The same Pope who says that gay people shouldn't be made miserable also believes that gay men should be barred from the clergy. And that if gay people are to be allowed basic legal rights, his little fancy notion of the desired way for gay couples to exist precludes any and all form of a sex life and the right to raise children. If that is isn't a recipe for conjugal bliss, I don't know what is. But at least now he does support some form of basic legal rights for gay couples. That truly is a significant step forward for him. Except not really, because in actual fact, Pope Francis has advocated for some form of civil union before. Back in 2010, when he was known as Jorge Mario Bergoglio, Pope Francis suggested that civil unions be allowed. However, he only did so in a vain attempt to prevent Argentina from legalizing full civil marriage rights for same-sex couples. Remember earlier earlier when I told you that Pope Francis once said that legalizing gay marriage is literally the work of the devil? Yeah, this is from then. He wasn't advocating for civil unions out of his supposed love and respect for gay people. He was trying to draw a line in the sand, to which Argentina responded, fuck your line, and legalized gay marriage anyway. Now, a decade later, he has the balls to say that he stood up for civil unions. Yeah, to try and fuck people out of more rights, you cunt. Not that that stopped multiple members of the Catholic Church from inferring some kind of substantive change in the Pope's motivations since 2010, saying he is now clearly supporting, not just tolerating, civil unions. Uh, how'd you figure that? I don't see how there's been any material improvement in the Pope's rationale, especially considering his outrageous claim that he stood up for gay rights. The Pope clearly thinks that he's advocating for the same thing he did 10 years ago, so why don't these arse wipes? As if there wasn't enough evidence to cement the Pope's blatant homophobia, mere days after the documentary premiered, the Vatican released additional clips from the same interview in which the Pope restates his opposition to same-sex marriage. I've always defended doctrine, and it is curious about the law on homosexual marriage. It is a contradiction to speak of homosexual marriage. Uh, maybe to you, bitch. Civil marriage actually has nothing to do with your doctrine, so maybe get your facts straight in future, okay? Now, of course, the publication of these statements from the Pope came and went pretty much entirely unnoticed, because the revelation that the leader of the Roman Catholic Church doesn't like gay people just doesn't fit the fucking narrative, does it? This is what makes the Pope's statements on homosexuality and the circus that perennially surrounds them so frustrating. Once again, the Pope's apparent goodwill disintegrates under closer inspection, and his revolutionary endorsement of bare minimum legal rights for gay couples turns out to be significant only in that he's had a promotion since the last time he voiced support for it. The Pope's incoherent views on the dignity of gay people don't appear to have changed at all. And yet straights and gays alike are again acting like Pope Francis is swishing down Old Compton Street in a chromatica jockstrap while handing out free prep. And I guarantee that there are people sitting watching this video thinking to themselves, 
Well, what do you expect? He's the Pope. That is entirely to my point. The bar for homophobes like Pope Francis is so low, it may as well be painted directly on the fucking ground. This is a man who has repeatedly asserted his opposition to almost all legal rights for gay couples, thinks that giving gay couples adoption rights constitutes discrimination against children, wants to ban gay men from entering the clergy, and thinks that gay sex makes the baby Jesus cry. And yet people continue to heap never-ending praise on him, apparently for no other reason than the fact that up until very recently, the Catholic Church's approach to gay people was even worse than it is now. Why should I care that the Pope supports giving gay couples a knockoff version of marriage that's already been superseded throughout large parts of the Western world? Who gives a shit? And you want to know what the real kicker is? You want to know what really rubs me the wrong way about all of this? Evgeny Efanivsky, the director of this documentary, the thing that reignited all of this nonsense, is gay. Yep, it happened again. Just like last time. Just like back in 2013 when The Advocate gave Pope Francis their Person of the Year award simply for being slightly less verbally hateful than Pope's past. This guy was ostensibly in control of what got kept in and what got left out of the documentary, and yet he still saw fit to continue to promote this pernicious myth of the pro-gay Pope. Why? I realise internalised homophobia is a hell of a drug, but this is absurd. Bigots throw us crumbs, and like clockwork, mutinous homosexuals turn around to the rest of us and say, look at this feast that our betters have provided. Well, fuck that. If a person does not support full legal equality for gay people, they are a homophobe. There is no amount of context or relativity that can change that. Have some fucking self-respect. As such, it is my pleasure to once again remind you all that Pope Francis is a homophobe. Ta-ra!